crashing down I need my space I'm suffocating surreal not gonna lie it's very strange in the best way possible but like to think a year ago I was like oh man COVID I'm losing all my gigs and I was really really nervous and now to think a year later I'm driving across country with my boy Kyle who's filming and like we're gonna go see fans around the world right now did I remember my guitar? <laughs> oh my god, how did you suck, That'd be so unfortunate. Alright, so my card got declined <laughs> because I'm traveling and the bank doesn't know, so I gotta. That was fast. <laughs> Gotta do, gotta do that. Um, so far, pretty good. <laughs> Dude, we made it to the Grand Canyon. It's pretty wild. Um, a lot smaller than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Freaking huge. On the road again. I know it's just music. I know it's just a tour. But like behind it, it's like freaking. Sometimes life just sucks. I think you just gotta embrace it instead of being like trying to be happy all the time. Be like, yeah, I feel sad, I feel lame. Great. Bring it on. Let it be pouring down raining outside. Like, embrace it because if you try to fight it, it's only gonna get worse. And I think that's just like something you gotta get used to, man. Ah! For instance, I don't want to work out right now, but if you can 
embrace it. The results will be there. Come on! <laughs> I got an elevator. <laughs> again. That stain, I don't know whose stain that is. Someone could have gotten murdered upstairs. Maybe it was a vice perfect. Vice, a vice, a vice perfect. Maybe it was a butt pipe. <laughs> Maybe it was a pipe <laughs> bursting. Butt pipe. A little bit better, you don't want to know. I could, that's just, you know, piss and shit. Leaking right into the place. So, that was fun. But you know what? Stay tuned. Come back next time. Another gas tank refill. You better not fucking miss it. On the road again. <laughs> Let's go. Go for it. All right. Today we're taking the Shady Oak Trail. Follow me. We don't need a map. We got a tour guide right here. All right. So. Just got off the phone with my pops. I'm talking about. Just living in the moment and trying to like really enjoy like what I'm doing right now. That's going on tour and doing something that I never thought really was possible. I think it's more important now because like my dad is in the hospital right now, recovering from a major surgery from cancer. And uh, I don't know, his words hit me when he says live in the moment, you know. And um, just enjoy everything. So I'm just trying to enjoy things. Like, I'm, I'm enjoying that I'm pumping gas in the middle of fucking nowhere. No, I'm trying to not think of, like, what's next for me, you know? What's not, not I'm not thinking, like, okay, the next tour, I'm going to do this. Instead of doing that, let's just enjoy what I'm doing right now. Like, let's enjoy the tour. Let's enjoy this $27 that I have to pay for gas. <laughs> you know? It's got, uh, doesn't want to... <laughs> I want a hitch. <laughs> I mean, it's full. I guess it is full. That's I'm used full. To, I'm used to like three, three dollars, like sixty-seven cents. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, just just try to enjoy life a little bit more, and uh, not think about things. Like, I'm on tour. You won. You won the lottery somewhere. So let's put in, let's get in the car. say if you have anxiety or depression or any kind of mental illness watch this with a black heart uh, but yeah let's do some late night vibes um, I'm in Florida right now and I'm out of tune for sure first show on tour is in two days Thanks for allowing me to do this, guys. It's awesome. And this is how I literally made this whole thing happen. Or this is how we made this whole thing happen. Just I'm going live on Facebook. And then I would play songs, talk about my mental health. And then you guys would comment, and you guys would relate, and talk about your stories, and then it became a whole thing of its own. If it wasn't for technology, even though sometimes I do hate it, 
technology allows me to connect to people around the world that I would never have been able to before. And I'm so grateful for that. Let's me go on tour right now. Isn't that crazy? Like That is pretty wild these days. <laughs> right, dude? I like oh. Oh, 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 oh. the knees. <laughs> Ooh, is this crazy? Cause like, I don't know. I was, I was doing this all through COVID, like just in my living room. Mhm. Mm and now I'm doing it at some random hotel in Florida. I don't know. I think that's pretty freaking crazy. And like one of my fans. My fans, I just, it feels weird calling my fans fans, the family. I know, and that sounds weird too, but it's, it just, I don't like the word fans. I feel like fans had like a bad, I don't know, I don't like it. Um, but, one of my fans just tipped me a hundred bucks. Yeah, and that paid for the hotel. I paid for the whole hotel tonight. It's amazing, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's just crazy, because they, they, they allow me to do what I want to do, and that's, be able to just do freaking music! The person below us probably doesn't like me that much, but. <laughs> that, that bad news, by the way. Any type of bullshit that just sucks. Know that it's completely okay. Uh, and, uh. You shouldn't feel, uh weird about it, you know, you shouldn't feel embarrassed about it, you should be able to talk about it, and uh, that's what the black heart represents, so, hope everyone's doing alright. Remember the time, drove all night, just to meet me in the morning. Oh, dude, how awesome is that? Oh, snacks. I got his tear up. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking bananas, dude. Let's go. Oh, inside joke with my swag. Oh, you guys are awesome. Are you serious? Oh, that's so cool. Dude, this place is huge. Dude, that is so cool. No way, dude. Look at that. If you're asking, do I feel like a rock star? The answer is yes. This place is huge. It's great. Nancy! <laughs> oh my god, Christy. Oh, it's Sally. Embrace me. Embrace me. You're the guy I have to listen to every morning and every night. Oh. <laughs> There's no point to try to describe you A song I could sing to make you understand There's a thousand ways that I could say to you There's just a vibe with you Energy's like a teeping boot Sky was just the moon There we go Cool and video. Only problem is I know I'll never be good enough to have you. One, two, one, two, three, four. Try to depict you, but it's just useless. The gator. On the road again. I'll be going on the road again. A little nervous, excited. Hopefully, I don't get eaten. Hopefully, we don't get eaten. Uh, Nancy. Well, look at this. Caution wildlife coming up. Come on. Nancy told me, and I quote, I quote, stay in the car until we get there.
This is how I warm up. I don't know about you, but this is straight up how I warm up. Dude, the fact that I'm about to go play a show right now in Lakeland, Florida, dude, it's wild. <laughs> it's wild. When people keep asking, like, oh, did you make it? When did you make it? Yeah, I made it. Made it Made it a while back. I made it the day I said I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I think that's a big thing. I, I, it's out of my head. When someone's like, oh, when did you make it? Well, I made it when I said I was going to be, you know, a musician for a living. That's when I, that's when I made it. Who, who am I? You know, I think a question every who sort of are. I'm still figuring that out. But from this tour, I, I definitely know who I want to be. And I definitely know who I am currently. And I think that's something everyone struggles with on a daily basis. Yeah, that's trying to come up with ideas of like, what, what else can I do for people? Dude, you should do personalized songs. The most amazing thing about tour, I think, is when I make a personalized song and the person in the audience is the person that told me their story and the song I'm playing is their song. There's a knot in my stomach There's a sadness in the air Red lights flashing from the crash That just happened it's so different seeing him do my first long song on live than it is in person. It really hit me this time. Mm. Yeah. So it's like very freaking different. Mm. And I was scrolling through different people and I'd watch some here and there and some were okay. But then I saw this guy, his hair down just jamming out. And I had a stroke in the middle of the night and in recovery, I couldn't sleep. So I got on the phone and there was Sawyer on quarantine karaoke singing hallelujah. And that will forever have me following him because that just, it, he found something in my heart that just opened up this great love, light, beautiful, Beautiful friendship. It really does. So thank you. From one former to another, you did an awesome job. Man. I appreciate you. You brother. did excellent. Man. Thank you so and much. And I do see you going big time. Uh, <laughs> I, I really do. Man. I really appreciate yeah. that. All right, Dad, I'm going to give you my view. Put him up there, guys. Put him up. All right, I'm going to see him around for him. I just want to thank your Black Heart community for all the support they have provided to you. They are what sustain you, they are what allows you to grow, and their collective prayers feel daily. And I thank all of them from the bottom of my heart, and I'm so proud of how you have developed a relationship with all of these people, where through community and fellowship, help each other through song and your fellowship. And I can't be more proud of you Aww. as well as all your black heart swags and love them all. Yeah! People are there to see you, man. That was crazy. That really was crazy. That was like my first. Oh, <laughs> 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 There's just food that's about to fall oh, everywhere. It's a big thing of chili, too. If this goes over the back, we're screwed. Dude. 
It was a great show, man. It really yeah. was. Uh, I'm just so dude. This is show number one, man. Right? Maybe it's just because I'm so like I'm so hyped up. But like, well, I'm gonna be tired. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit the bed tonight. Pass out. But man, so grateful. So shocked and like just kind of not believing it. What's happening? And that's playing music for people. I know my music is wild. It's so wild. It's a crazy feeling. Crazy feeling to sing a song that you wrote and have them sing it back to you. Man, man, I have the best fans in the world. I'm gonna sleep well tonight. And uh, we got a show tomorrow at noon. See you there. I think we're, tonight's gonna be like an acoustic show. Yesterday was a drive and a half. We were like 15 hours from Virginia to Vermont, which we are right now. Um, so Vermont today. I'm gonna go to Maine tonight. And then the next day we're in Maine doing Smithfield. I think it's gonna be a little bonfire. I think my aunt and uncle are gonna come to that one, which would be cool. Haven't seen them in a while. And then Thursday we have a huge show in South Paris, Maine. I think that's gonna be the biggest show, which will be a lot of fun. And then Friday we are back in my hometown of Connecticut, which will be super fun. Um, I haven't seen my dad since the surgery, so it'll be great just to see him and hang out with the family and just like chill out and play some music. Cause they haven't seen me perform live with like a looper in person. Um, I don't think ever. I really started doing the looper stuff out in California. About to set up at the second show. We're in Bartow, Florida. Second show of the tour. Oh yeah. Show number three today, I'm in Virginia. Uh, what is happening right now? Where am I going? <laughs> <laughs> it keeps telling you. Where am I going, bro? Just... Bobby Becker's. This is Bobby Becker's show. She's a host out here in Virginia. Um, 
It's a beautiful day out today. This is the calm before the storm. I got a little bit of nerves today. I don't know why. I got a little nerves. I think it's the sleep deprivation. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I feel a little nervous right now. A little lightheaded. Um, but that's rock and roll. It's rock and roll. You know? We're just gonna. We're just gonna go with it. I might faint though. <laughs> that's a true, that's a very, very true possibility today. I just feel lightheaded. Can we make some noise up in here? We got some swags on there. Come on, let's see what we got. Yeah, we're gonna have so much fun today. Yeah. Forget I know. We're gonna have some participation in here today because I can feel the love. So we're gonna do a clapping. It's really easy, really simple. Come on, why is only two people clapping? Come on! Let's get it up in here. Let's make some noise. Last year, 20, oh, two years ago, 2019, I did probably like 382 or 390 shows. People are like, hmm, calculations, seems like you played more shows than days in the year. It's true, I used to play three shows on Saturday, two shows on Sunday, then Monday through Friday. I met Bobby through Quarantine Karaoke, and I did this thing where it's called Personalized Songs. Well, Bobby, you had the most detailed and heartbreaking but at the same time beautiful story i've ever heard in my life so so it's, it's her story it's just and it's our song so this one's called daddy's little girl hope you like it <laughs> community of uh, where we felt open and safe and just were able to like have discussions that we never would have had before and swags all around the world became friends that never met each other before. And uh, did you have fun today? Yes, awesome. Been waiting for this. Awesome, so have we. <laughs> yes, we wanted this last summer but it got cancelled. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, thanks so much for having me, freaking no, amazing. I'm glad I got to meet Aubrey in person. Oh, it's, it's, just, it's crazy to write the song Daddy's Little Girl and then put faces to the song. That's the, you know, it's weird. It's, uh, it's amazing, but it's so weird. It's weird, like, seeing you over the Facebook. Yeah, trust me, it's the same thing. walk around him in a full circle. It's just not on your screen. You're like, a I know you did. No, you smell fantastic. <laughs> no, I don't. It was a little hot inside. A not little? gonna lie. No, it was. It was. I had a fan though. I did it. <laughs> That's different in the fields of Virginia. Sitting in Vermont, in Vermont, sitting. Uh. Sun sets different in the fields of Virginia. Uh. Taking it easy by a Vermont. Uh. Taking it easy. So we drive, we drive through the night. Something like that. Don't know where we're gonna be. Time, time doesn't exist. It's time doesn't exist. It's only borrowed. Fuck me, dude. Come on, <laughs> dude. I love that line. Time doesn't exist. It's only borrowed. Okay, yeah. so we we're driving through Virginia yesterday, and we just got done playing a show. And they're gonna kill me if I don't say this right. Gloucester. 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 Gloucester, Virginia. They're gonna kill me. They're gonna kill me. And we're driving home. We're driving, well, not home, but I, to be honest, every place feels like home. You guys are awesome. Um, so we're driving, and I see this field, 
the sun's sitting just on top of the on on top of the on the trees. Like it's like um like it's almost like hanging there. Like its feet's like hanging below the tree line. Like that's a person and his feet are hanging out. They're just like hanging out and like waving at us. And I said to Kyle, we gotta pull over and play here. So we played a song there. And then we kept on driving and uh, I just I came up with this tune in my head of just having the sun sets differently or different in the fields of Virginia because it does. It's not, it's compared to California, anywhere in the world probably, it just sets differently. And that moment, in that time, it sets differently. Um, and we this is this is all this is all this is the thing where I think was everything happens for a reason because we went to the place where we're supposed to play at. Um, they were like, oh, uh, we're gonna be there around this time, blah, blah, blah. I was like, all right, Kyle was, you know, Kyle was like, let's go, let's explore. So we explored a little bit and we came upon this awesome park that's gonna be up there. And we, we woke them and it's like, hey, you guys wanna come to the park? Cause it's a little intimate show today. I was like, you wanna come to the park? It's perfect down here. And they said, yeah. So we, ba <laughs> it's just, everything happens for a reason. It's so crazy. And if we never did, if we just showed up there, we would never finish this song. We'd never been in this spot. We'd never gotten this song. Let's play, let's do it one more time. They say things happen for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're making our own concert right now. Um, I think it's going to be a very intimate show tonight, which is so cool. Just, I'm thinking they're just going to sit here and I'm going to be there. And this is what it's about, though, man. Like, I like how all these the shows I'm playing are all different. And I think it's a big learning experience for, for musicians, man. You don't need to have a sold out show. You don't need to have a hundred people there. You really don't. You need to have one person there that truly believes in what you're doing. And if they believe in you, they're, 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 they'll get you to the show. They're, you know? And I, <laughs> people always think you need a thousand fans. Nah, no, man. The fans you got, make sure you fucking show them love and make sure you know they're appreciated because they are appreciated because if, if it wasn't for them, the family, the flag, none of this would have happened. So, intimate show tonight. I'm stoked. I can't wait to play. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dude. I love that you know the words to that. Like, I, I've had depression, anxiety, and less, not much self-worth. And I think you, as cheesy as it sounds, you are the main, one of the main people that helped me find it. That's freaking so, awesome, man. So like, like I always say, it's, it's just such a stupid stigma around it of like mental illness, you know? Like I'm so happy that you're open enough to like to talk to me about it because like so many people like, I don't know, they just don't talk about it because it's, uh, it's not a fun thing to talk about. People kept calling me because like, I'm always the friend that everybody leans on. Like, oh, you have a great vibe. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, sometimes I put him to sore I'm like, this is how yeah. I deal with my life. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> like, I love he that. is how I deal with my life. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> can give you great. <laughs> Sometimes those grapes grow sour But they're sweet with you You're my sweet tooth Dude, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for having us. Hell yeah. Boom. Dude, thank you again so much. It's a great thing. One more time. We'll do it again, I promise. Hey. You guys want chips? We have so many chips. We did. <laughs> we have so many so chips. So many chips. We need to get the last place we played at, they just kept giving us food. I was like, please, stop. <laughs> I go, I love it too. <laughs> Dude, in the sun setting right now, it's so perfect. We have a beautiful place out here. Honestly, one of the best ones so far. Dude, 100%. I, did I thought the same thing, bro. Like, <laughs> thought the same thing. <laughs> so quiet. Listen to this. Show number five tonight. Um, I feel good, dude. When it's done, I'm gonna be like, oh damn, dude, we just we, we, we just got done with tour. Like right now, I'm just living in the moment and like trying to enjoy every moment of it. <laughs> it's not just the music, it's like what, <laughs> what you stand for behind the music means a lot to people. And I think that's why they connect to your music so much sometimes. 
I always like the moment right when I meet people, the swags, the family. I, lo- I love that moment of this, like, see it in person, you know, people in person. It's a, it's, a, it's pretty cool. It's a, it's a cool feeling. You got to have people that support you and believe in you in your life. I think that's a big, big thing. You got to have the right circle. It's amazing what bad energy or the wrong people in your circle can do to you. The craziest feeling by far, by far, is when I'm singing one of my own songs and they're singing it back to me. That is crazy. That's crazy. I don't, I I can't, I will never be able to explain that. It is the weirdest feeling in the world. Like they know it by heart. I think I'm like in, I think it's, what is it called? The flow state? Where you're just in a flow, you know? It's just like you're not... You don't even think about anything. You're just doing. You're just being. On stage, I feel like the best me. Like the, you know what I mean? I just feel like the best me. I'm lucky. I knew. I knew. I knew when I was very young what I wanted to be. Very, very young. I've always known. I used to perform for my um, my sister's uh, softball team. I was a bat boy. I always put on a show. Always entertaining people. I loved it. I loved it. I felt in control. I felt like I was bringing joy to people, and then bringing joy to people brought joy to me. I didn't know it was going to be music. I just knew I loved entertaining. I loved it. I loved being an entertainer. I really like doing what I'm doing right now, though. I know that. I know I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be right now. I hate bugs. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a good I was killing it <laughs> yeah. We are headed to our first show in Maine Gonna be a little bonfire action Might be another intimate show We don't know, it's gonna be a little acoustic set oh, I'm really excited My aunt and uncle Are gonna be there tonight Which is really cool um, They live in Maine so they're gonna come down to see this one So that should be fun and my cousins, Addison and Ben, will be there too. Yep. Show number five, baby. Ten more to go. Yeah, so good to see you in person. Yeah. Oh How's it going? <laughs> yeah, nice to meet you. I love you, dude. <laughs> I love you, too. How's it going? <laughs> yeah, nice to meet you. That's so cool. Like, when I go to these shows, I'm always like, oh. So like you know what I mean? It's like what the heck? It's all about me. It's crazy. It's so weird. That's so. She made them for everyone. So cool. (laughs) Wait, but wait. Wait a second. Oh, dude, that's awesome. If you look in your bag, you get. We're gonna. We're gonna be. Oh, dude, that's awesome. (laughs) 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 What is up? Dude, why am I so small? Every time. Every day. 
And after we just, fuck, after we just talked about all that, on my phone, right here, right now while we're watching this documentary right now, it says, it's okay not to be okay. It means that your mind is trying to heal itself. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Cheers! Like, everything's gonna be okay. Even if it's not, you know? And that's, I mean, that's life, man. There's so many times in life, like, where things suck. <laughs> like, suck. And, um, people always like, well, what do you do? And you just keep going. There's literally, there's no... You look back, what do you see back there? Footsteps. What do you see in front of you? Nothing yet. So that's where you have, you have to make the footsteps. You have to make, you have to make the path so other people can follow you, you know? Like, I talk about mental illness all the time, and um, I, I talk about it because I have it. Like, I, I have anxiety like crazy. Like, I, it's horrible. Like, it's every single day. Like, it's not, like, I know I seem, you know, like, I get it. Like, I, I, like, I get it, but it's like. How is that? <laughs> it's, it's like, I embrace it, you know? I say you're gonna be my best friend. Yep. You're gonna, you just, you're gonna, you are gonna be my best freaking friend. I'm always depressed. I'm not tonight, <laughs> man. <laughs> I am not tonight. I hate calling you guys fans. I hate it. I don't like that word because you're way more than that. Way more than that. Your family, you're my, you're like, you're my best friends. I freaking love you guys. When I say that online, I don't say it because I'm like, oh, I freaking love you. It's like, <laughs> I truly mean it. Just keep going. I know it's, it's, I know it sounds cheesy, but it's the truth. Just, just keep going. There's a long road ahead, so who cares if there's a speed bump in the way? And guess what? If there's a wall, well, fuck that wall. <laughs> you know? Amen. Get a, get a freaking hammer and go right through it. <laughs> If you need a ladder, climb over that shit. I'm dead serious. Like, I truly mean it. And sometimes when I'm, when I'm in public, when I hang out with my friends or anybody, I say, I love you. But like, you always say that. And I go, I know. You should say it to someone too. You know? Yeah, exactly. Like, exactly. Try it out. You know? You should just try it out. Black Hawk. <laughs> Tonight's show was fucking awesome. That's it. I got nothing else to say. It was just a great show. Joseph and Judith, the um, creators of Quarantine Karaoke, are nice enough to let us stay at their Airbnb, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go stay over there. Get ready for tonight's show for six. I might bomb it. <laughs> Just went to J and H Music. Um, had to buy a guitar. Got a Yamaha. If you're in town, if you're in Maine, face. <laughs> you got long, long hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you play with no shirt on all, all the, the time. fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, wait a second. No way. Oh, dude, it's beautiful. They hooked this up. Look at this place. So cool. We playing this tonight. Dude, I love this guitar. Chuck, come, come, come. Look up, look up. Jesus! <laughs> man down, man down, man down, man down. Enjoy life. Oh! That's it. Just enjoy it. The good, the bad, the ugly, the pretty. Enjoy life. Yeah! Thanks so much, Judith and Joseph. JJ. JJ. You guys rock. Um, we'll see you tonight at the, at the show tonight. Let's do it. Well, we're supposed to be headed to my show, but um, it's all this and uh. Let's go. This is video by the way. Oh.
Dude, this, this dude. Is, this is awesome. We're right here. The legend. The legend. The legend. <laughs> Changed my life. Hello. Right back here, dude. Yeah. Uh, I was actually just telling her. So I created quarantine karaoke at work one day. Uh, and from the second I hit go, it just blew up. The, the entire thing went viral instantly. And I went home and... Uh, told my wife, hey, I did this thing today, <laughs> and she didn't really get it, and there's just hundreds of thousands of people that are pouring into the group. I did it because I was feeling down. I was feeling down. And I uh, went into my basement, sang a song one night, and was like, man, that just made me feel way better. And I think a lot of people should, I, sh I should encourage others to do that. And so I did, created the group, and the, the rest is history, and it just blew up. So anybody can just join the group and the beauty of it is that anyone can go live at any point and so Sawyer just got in on the action and people just loved him because he's got such a such a good vibe it's it's all positive so he's got like a strong gravitational pull into his world and so many people just started uh, following him and, and look at him he's on tour one year later and he had no idea any of this was gonna happen one year ago that's awesome here he is like everybody's just talking to him like it feels like family it feels like catching up with a friend that you've known for 20 years so that that's what it felt like the second i got out of my car and i saw him it's just like brother <laughs> like good to see you yeah, again <laughs> give me a hug man like yeah it is it's good to see you again that, that is what it feels like in high school i used to sing hallelujah all the time with my friends and uh, we would drink beer and have a fire just like this and i know it sounds corny but maybe we were a little drunk and had a good time <laughs> and this is what we would do but this song in the past Smoking In the past like two months has meant a lot more to me. Um, my father two months ago was diagnosed with cancer and it was stage three adrenal gland cancer. That's what it was. And this is the dude that's a goddamn rhino, man. Like, works out every single day, doesn't drink, doesn't do anything. Which I'm not happy about, by the way. Come on now. And, um, that's fine. You know, <laughs> exactly. It, uh, it came out of a shock, came out of nowhere. And um, my first thing my dad would say, he said, don't look it up, it's not good. I said, all right. So I go home, I'm in California. I remember calling him up and I said, dad, do you think I should come home? Because they weren't like giving me all the information. They said, nah, it's not a big deal. Okay, so I called my sister. I said, yo, should I come home? She goes, it's up to you. And I said, would you go home? She said, yes. I said, all right, I'm buying a ticket. And that's what I did, I flew home right away. And um, I get inside, you know, when you see someone you see strong all the time be weak, it is a weird feeling, you know, you don't, do not expect that at all. And he was just sitting there, and I go and I go, you look like shit. <laughs> I did, because that's the relationship me and my dad have. And he responded back, I know, and right away I was like, Oh fuck, you know? Because usually, he has some woody answer or some bullshit. So, the next couple of days were tough. We were just waiting for the operation. Because luckily, it could be operated on. We were sitting around, it was me and my mom, my dad and my sister. And my dad said, can you play me a song? I said, absolutely. I said, what do you want to hear? There's anything you want. And this is the song I played. And uh, this song means so freaking much to me, it's crazy. I can't explain it to you. It's not my song, but it's my story with this song. And I think that means a lot to people. So if you know it, please sing with me. When I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> this one's called Hallelujah. Here they were, the secret chord. They defeated in peace and love, but you don't. King composing hallelujah. Sing it with me. Hallelujah. 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 Um, me and Kyle used to play golf in high school together. 
and like that was my thing. I thought I was gonna become a professional golfer. I'm dead serious. Me too. Me Shit, what happened? <laughs> 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 Listen, please, let me just change the camera view. <laughs> So I went to IUP, and then I went there for a semester, and then I was like, I'm going to take a semester off. Uh, I don't really know what I want to do. I, I know if I become a golf thing, I'm just going to sell t-shirts at some golf store, and like, I, that's what's going to happen. So I went home, and then I was skateboarding one day, and a car hit me, and I, yeah, my left ankle is completely metal. Um, it shattered completely, so I was bed rest for about a year in my bed. And I always played music, um, always, you know, with, play songs, but I really played music when I was better at. Like, I played for hours and hours and hours. And then after I did that, I was like, alright, maybe I should go play a show somewhere and see what happens. So I played a show, I remember making 50 bucks, I was like, oh shit. I made it. <laughs> and I would street perform and make money here and there. And then I would do like weird gigs like telemarketing and dog walking, just any weird jobs. And um, then out of nowhere, I met this girl, right? <laughs> and we started dating. She didn't know I lived in a minivan. <laughs> we kept that on the down low, all right? She's always like, why don't we go to your place? I was like, babe, your place is just perfect, okay? I was like, I don't want you to drive. I'll drive to you, okay? So we did that. And uh, we dated for about a year, okay? That's crazy. And then that girl broke my heart. Broke it! I think she found out I was living in a minivan. <laughs> and I know, no matter where she is, she's probably still thinking about me. She's sorry. Exactly. Yes, she is. So this song is called Thinking of Me. This one's for you. <laughs> <laughs> Bet she's still thinking of me on some foreign island by the side of me. Sitting on a rascal drink. Ooh, I bet she's still thinking of me. Thinking of me. But the power in his voice, you don't get to hear that or feel that. Mm when you're listening online and so that power and that that feeling that vibe that he has just in person is way different party man everyone having a good time Everyone was singing along too. Singing along and new fans, a lot of new people tonight. Like of course we have people that saw me and seen me before, but a lot of new fans and um, that's something I'm really stoked about. Whole lot of that. Try to put me in a box, but my name's not Jack. I'm the time. You know what time it is? It's firework time. Yeah, baby. We got fireworks about to do them. <laughs> You got damn right. <laughs> Maine was awesome. We got crazy last night. Yes, we did. Off to Maine, off to South Paris, Maine. It's gonna be a big show today. It is 10:38 in the morning, and I'm eating a uh, Maine Wolfie Pie. Watch me fly Well, all right <laughs> Come on! Watch me fly Well, this is just your first concert ever is gonna be me. Ever. I mean... Now, about a year and a half ago, I used to play at shows all the time, you know, I'd play at restaurants, hotels in Southern California. And then this little thing called COVID came out of nowhere and it was like, yeah, we ain't gonna let you play anymore. But then I went online, I went on Facebook and I met people all around the world. And that's how I'm here right now today in Maine, which is a beautiful, beautiful thing. So this song is called What Love Can Do and it's for you guys. I love you, every single one of you. 
All right, let's have some fun. Baby. His music's really helped me um, with my mental health issues, and I have depression and anxiety, so listening to his songs and the way that he talks about taking away the stigma of mental illness, it really hits the heart, so um, it's really helped, and I, I, I was kind of in a, like a depression, and he's kind of helped pull me out of that. He's been like a motivator for me to make me try some new things. We're never gonna stop this love, you see, because you and me were meant to be. Are you ready for that? Oh my God. Finally meeting Sawyer, it's been a blast. He's better than I ever expected. So friendly, so kind, so personable. Personable, actually personable. So it's been a blast having him here. Say how you feel, it's really simple. Like today I feel great. Come here with you guys, a beautiful thing. Tonight I'm gonna feel tired. <laughs> It'll be fun. And tomorrow, I'm gonna have another show and I'm gonna feel great again. And then when the tour is over, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into a deep, deep depression. <laughs> so that's why I'm gonna have to go on tour again. Got shoes all over my body. Nobody's perfect, but you were that I've been working on these hours. Cause you deserve the finest things. You deserve the diamond rings. Like when you call me baby. We're never gonna stop this love you see. Because you and me were meant to be. I can really tell that you guys want to clap with me, so I'm going to do it again, because I can tell you want to do it. I can see in the balcony up there, I can feel your energy all the way up there. I know you want to clap with me. So we're going to do it, all right? Hi, Doreen Freeman, and I found him on QK, Quarantine Karaoke, and I heard his COVID song, and I YouTubed him. And then it's history from there. I've been following them for over a year. So it's been fun. Has this, has this music kind of like helped you through? I mean, probably helped through quarantine, something to the do at least. Last couple of days. Mm. I don't want to say that though. Yeah, yeah. That's too raw. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. I was like, I was raw the other day. I was like, oh, that was awful. But the tough truth is. Make it harder, but you will get stronger, stronger, stronger. You will get stronger, stronger. If you guys don't know, I'm totally gonna cry at some point during this song, <laughs> so just don't judge me. <laughs> Well, my dad, he was diagnosed with cancer about two months ago. Got the surgery, and as you can see, he's kicking ass. He's sitting right over there. And it was a complete success. It was an amazing thing. And uh, I remember this, <laughs> remember this moment. My dad's in the elevator. We're going to the hospital. And some dude goes in there and goes, hey, how are you? And my dad goes, great. <laughs> and we're standing right next to him like, what? And you have to be, you have to surrender sometimes. You just have to say, hey, wouldn't it be great if someone came up to me and be like, how are you doing? I'm shitty. Just kept on walking, right? And then that guy would probably be like, oh man, I was feeling pretty shitty too. But now I kind of feel a little bit better, you know? And it just, it gets, if you talk about it, it's so much easier than just sitting in your own little head of yours and not talking about it. So, so black heart represents taking away the stigma of mental illness, right? Because mental illness sucks. And a lot of people have it and we don't know about it. And I like talking about it because if I talk about it, maybe you'll talk about it, you know? So if anyone out there is dealing with any type of anxiety, mental illness, depression, whatever, just know it's okay not to be okay. It's totally okay. It's totally okay. And you should just be, exactly, it's totally okay to not be okay. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> yes! Yeah! <laughs> Only fucking Kim. <laughs> awesome. Yep. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you were just absolutely wonderful. It means the world to me, man. You know, you
you it's so crazy that I'm here with you. It's so sweet and just. It is so crazy. Like, I'm like staring you down and she's like, stop staring. <laughs> I'm like, right, is right. that him? Oh, okay. if, I had the, like, if I had the hair, I'm down, like staring. Don't come. Don't come. He's awesome. He's kind. He's, lo he's loving. And he looks out for his fans. Why don't you say hi to the fans? You have scars and stories to tell But that's what made you you The darkest days you've already seen You're the light that everyone needs Roxanne, Roxanne Down by the river Sitting in a tree Down by the river with you And you and me The next couple days is gonna be pretty crazy My boy's not gonna lie My voice is not My voice is barely hanging in there It's very uh Weak It's not sore, it's weak Like I feel like when I hit a high note I really have to think about hitting a high note Like I have to take a lot of big deep breaths S-A-W-Y-E-R, and then last name is A-U-G-E-R. And how do you do it? Sawyer R. And you're professional too. You. Yeah, you can forget the camera here, you can look at it. Okay, that's what I thought. All right, thank you. Assigned things are getting back to normal. How about a concert tonight? Six News at Elton Sportsman Club, where former The Voice and American Idol contestant Sawyer Auger performed. He told us during the time he couldn't perform live in person, he used social media to perform live. Also says he gave him a chance to talk about the stigmas of mental health. I kept on doing it for the whole COVID, and then I reached out to people around the world and started talking about like mental illness and anxiety because people, a lot, a lot of people, were having it during that time. So I basically just played music, talked to the, the people, and they they responded. We just kind of, as a community, I don't know. It, I, when I talk about my anxiety or depression, someone else talks about theirs. We're in Johnstown, Pennsylvania today. This is our 11th show. They gave me this cool shirt because I got to represent Pennsylvania. Um, we just had a news guy come in here, which was pretty crazy. He did me a little interview. If anybody out there that's had mental illness or anything like that, um, we'd be afraid to talk about it. Uh, talk about it, be open about it. And just know that there's a lot of people just, just like you, and it's okay not to be afraid. That's good. Perfect. Yeah. Cool. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Yeah. 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 One, two, three. Black made so much of an impact in my life the past year with him and all the girls all the swags we are one big family um, the taking away the stigma of mental illness so I signed up I've been hooked ever since we are one big family uh, we all support each other we all know what it is to deal with anxiety and depression um, we help each other out I talk I try to talk with Sawyer every day when he's on. Uh, I talk to the swags every day. Every day. Close, independent setting. It's just amazing. Oh, awesome. awesome. Can you just interview her and let her? Here we go. This song's about literally the first couple of weeks in LA. Kind of like my whole journey in LA. I hope you like it. I love that dude. Hold on, let me get a And I'll be in this world. Feeling this in this hard hard life. They see the friends living in the street. And all the way down the king Kong bomb and dreams. Begging for food. Begging for food. Oh my god, it was awesome. Oh well, you know, except for the parts he had me bawling my eyes out. You know, because it's. He's, like I said, he sings with his soul, so it's very emotional. You know, when he's up and he's happy and it's, a, it's an upbeat song, it's like you get very involved with it and it's, it's just wonderful. But then when he gives you a story time and it's coming from his heart and his soul and 
it's painful, you feel it. You totally feel it. And you can relate to it. And I 100% related to it tonight, too. I was pulling my eyes out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It just, it, it becomes like a family situation where it's like a family reunion when you get together. You know, it's like you have these things in common, which, you know, family reunion, it's bloodlines, relatives, you know. But Sawyer is the common thread. He's just, he touches everybody's soul and it draws everybody together and you have that commonality because you all love him and you all enjoy him. You know? If no one told you this today, what do we do? I freaking love you! That's me, then fuck yeah. Because I'll listen. A hundred percent will. And then I'll talk about it so you can do it to someone else. It's a domino effect. It really is. It's how it works. Super simple. Another word. If no one told you this today, I freaking love you! Love you guys. Oh, you Show me. Show of the tour of Marysville, Washington. It's the last show of the tour. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Last show of the tour, baby. I feel good. I feel great. We've created a community and where it's okay not to be okay. And it's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to be upset or depressed or, anything, or have anxiety or any type of uh, situation. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday! 
Since that first day that I saw him singing, I have listened to him every single day. Either live Facebook or watching the replays, or I play his music in my car. They're the only CDs in my car. And great musician, great artist, sweet, kind soul. Just all around superstar of a guy. And I love him. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> then to meet all the friends I have met, all the swags on there. And we have one group of us that there's almost 40 of us in a chat group and we talk every single day. And it has been so much fun. It has been. Hey, he's going to go far. Yes, Good. Live free, fly high, and go above and beyond. And yes. guess what? He's done it. And we love him. Very much. <laughs> yeah. Love him, love him, man. We love Kyle. We can't Oh, yes. Kyle. We can't Got it. <laughs> You're awesome, man. <laughs> So thank you for giving me that opportunity to just do what I love. Um, I'm just really grateful. And I hope you truly know that. I am nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, ready? Ready for it. Time can't be owned. It's only about So let's drive, let's drive through the night. So let's drive, let's drive. Through the night